What's up? Welcome back. I have something really exciting to show you. This is going to be a way that you can combine some no code tools that we've just released in order to build an entire SaaS application or really just all of the building blocks that you would need in a single tweet. It's going to be really awesome. Follow along and we'll see all the steps. So I've jumped into my Stripe dashboard here. I'm going to head over to products and we're going to define a single product that people can subscribe to. I really like this concept of uh, sending people a box of ice cream, like a subscription box service for ice cream. Subscribe to receive some uh, virtual ice cream. We'll upload an image of our ice cream. This is just something that I drew. I think it's quite cute. Um, we have, we can add some additional options here, including a feature list if we wanted to. So here we could say, I don't know, this is, uh, you know, um, looks yummy. Uh, we also maybe, I mean, obviously it's, uh, it doesn't melt and it's uh, dairy free because it's virtual and there's, um, zero calories because it's virtual. It's really just going to be an image of ice cream that you receive each month. All right. Our standard pricing is going to be $42 and 42 cents. This is a test mode. So, um, we're going to just use this as a recurring monthly thing. Let's also add another price while we're here and we'll make this our annual price. And we'll make this $424.24 um, per year. Cool. So now we can save this product and we can upsell from our monthly price. So now we can say edit price. We're going to upsell automatically to this yearly price. We're going to save that. Okay. Now what we can do is create a payment link for this box of ice cream. This is our subscription box of ice cream that we're going to sell uh, each month. We want to collect addresses automatically. If we wanted to collect the shipping address, we could do that because it's virtual. We just need the email address. That's going to be just fine. Um, some advanced options. If we want to allow promo codes, people can get a discount on our virtual ice cream. Sure. This link looks great. All right. So we can copy our payment link, head over and start the subscription process. This is a link we could share on social media, on Twitter, DM and an email or text message or whatever, like wherever you want to share this link, you can share it. That's why we're going to drop it directly into a tweet. You'll notice here, I can immediately save 15% if I want to get a year's worth of these subscription box uh, of virtual ice cream dropped to me. Uh, I can also apply a promo code. If I had one of those, I have several different payment method types I could apply. Uh, or use to pay for my subscription here. I'm going to jump back to this monthly mode and use an email here. All right, let's check out with a card. So this is immediately successful. I'm going to use this name on file as Jenny Rosen, put in some um, details. Now what I could do is actually save my information so that I can check out quicker next time because I don't want to have to type this in every single time. So I'm going to say uh, enter in my phone number and click on subscribe and I will be subscribed directly to this box of subscription ice cream. That was all of the entire onboarding process. Give someone a link, they go through the payment flow and they're signed up. Let's jump in and configure the customer portal so that people can manage their entire billing lifecycle directly on Stripe with no code at all. So we're going to jump into the settings for the customer portal. There's a lot of things you can configure here, whether customers can apply promo codes or update their payment method, or even move between different products directly in the customer portal. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see this brand new section, set up your integration. If we click on generate link, this is going to give us a persistent link that very similar to our checkout flow, we can just share this link out directly. And now customers can enter their email and they'll be sent a, a link the same way that you might do password recovery. You'll receive an email with a link in that email. So let's go take a look. All right. So we've received this brand new email. It's from the virtual ice cream company. It's all branded. It follows all of our brand settings. And now it allows us to just click on login. And now we can manage our entire uh, life cycle, our entire customer life cycle. If we want to update our plan, we can update it or cancel it. So let's say update. We can even move to this yearly box. Let's say we do want to upgrade to the yearly box and we'll just say, yeah, we want to confirm that we love our ice cream subscription so much that we've got to have that annual plan. All right. We can also just go in here, update our payment methods on file, all of this stuff, the billing management that you would expect to be available as part of something that you would build for a full SaaS application is now all available with no code at all, which is so, so exciting because now you don't even have to, you know, set up an application at all. In fact, I'm going to send out these two links and that will be the entire SaaS application. That's going to be the entire SaaS suite is all you need is um, the content that's available and fits inside of a tweet. Too good to be true. All right. <laughs> Okay, we've canceled and that is the end of our customer lifecycle. So that's super cool. And now what we can do 
So we can jump over to Twitter. We'll say, this is a fully functioning SaaS app. We're gonna drop in our, um, our link to manage billing and our link to subscribe. So we'll head over to products, go back and grab our payment link for this, um, for our product. So this is gonna be our subscribe link. This is our manage link. And this entire tweet is going to be a fully functioning SaaS application. Um, so we can just tweet this out and now people can go through, they can subscribe, they can participate. And all that we had to do was go into Stripe, configure a payment link, configure our customer portal. And now we have a fully functioning system where we can collect payments and we used zero code at all. At the same time, we could go write webhook handlers to provision or deprovision access or actually pull from inventory and do some shipping. So this is a really, really powerful combination of tools. We're super, super excited to introduce it to you. What's so cool is that within a 15 minutes, you can go from zero to having an activated Stripe account with all the features of having all these products, branding, uh, no code link that will allow people to subscribe to pay for recurring payments. You have this tool that you can use to uh, you know, manage your customer lifecycle with no code at all. It's very powerful. Thanks so much. I'm super excited to see what you'll build. All right, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>